Ephesians chapter number 1. Do you believe God is a trustworthy God? Do you believe that he is able? Are you living like that every day? Are you showing the world that God is able? Ephesians chapter number 1, starting with verse number 13. Uh, God's, we, in order for us to get to this place, we have to believe that we are God's best interest. And we have to be honest with ourselves. Do we truly trust God with everything in our life? Do we truly? Do we trust his will, his plan, his purpose for our life? If not, I'm going to tell you what, we're setting ourselves up to learn a hard lesson. A very hard lesson. The Bible says the things Job feared the most, they came upon him. God will answer. Oh, it will come. You're setting yourself up to learn a very hard lesson. Take it from me. Take it from me. When you can trust God, it'll be hard, but it'll be worth it. When you don't trust him, you'll learn to trust him. But you'll learn to trust him in a way that you didn't choose. I want to walk with him. I always tell people by his voice. And I don't want to have to have his hand Amen. push me. Amen. I want to hear the voice of God and say, that's my father. You know the shepherd, the sheep, they hear their shepherd's voice and they say, that's my shepherd. I got to go. Follow him. <coughs> Ephesians chapter 1, starting with verse 13. In him you also trusted. When did you trust him? You trusted him when you recognized that you needed a savior. Mm -hmm. That the barroom couldn't save you anymore. The pills couldn't save you anymore. Your spouse couldn't save you anymore. <coughs> your children couldn't save you anymore. <coughs> that good job that everybody wants and lined up for couldn't save you anymore. So now you trusted him. In him whom you also trusted after you heard the word of truth that means evidence or proof that God's word is real the gospel of your salvation in whom also having believed that means trusted you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise sealed for how long as long as you believed and as long as you trusted you're going to stay free but just because I was free yesterday don't mean that I'll be free today the same way that I had with freedom yesterday is the same way that I can attain freedom today. You see, God's plan for you is to give you a future and to give you a hope. It didn't say his plan for you. Your plan for yourself was his plan. My plans never gave me what I thought they would. They always gave me the opposite. Every time I ever went against God's word, I'd like call my wife before and say, I believe God wants me to do this, but I can't let these people down. Guess what always happens? Trouble. Pain. And guess who was with me in the midst of the pain? The people that I was with. You know what happened to Jonah? Whenever he was on that ship and he knew he wasn't supposed to be there, guess who suffered on the ship? Everybody. And they said, Jonah, why did you not tell us you're not supposed to be here? He said, throw me overboard. All your trouble will be gone. You see, when you're disobedient to God, you don't trust him. Guess who's going to suffer with you? The people that you love. The people around you. Oh, I love Jesus. I want to do what Jesus wants me to do. You better mean it when you say that. Because that will be. And God's going to test your trustworthiness. And he's going to test what you really want and what's in your heart. He says, verse 14, Who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory? In other words, God can't and won't fail you. There's a testimony, church. Here's a testimony in our lives. Is he a living testimony in your life? Do you have something to tell people? 